Welcome to the My Creative Days podcast, where we will talk about all things DIY, home decor, decorating tips, and creating a beautiful home on a budget. I am hoping our time together will spark a creative idea, help you plan your next DIY, or inspire you to finally tackle that project you keep putting off. Grab your favorite cup of motivation and let's chat. Hello and welcome back to the podcast. Today I'm going to talk about something that I seriously could talk about this just like I can. Any DIY project or (laughs) the other thing, the thrifting, any of those things that I talk about, I could talk about budgeting and saving money for like hours. And so today I thought I would do kind of a shorter podcast that will talk about uh, some ways that I, some things that I do all the time that help us save money or just put some money back in our pockets or, you know, whatever it was. This actually came about because Matt and I were talking about um, some of these things that I do or we do that, that really do save money and add up in the long run. And I'm like, you know what? I should share this on the podcast because maybe not everybody knows about these things or these, you know, ways to do it or ways to save money. Or like I said, get money back in your pocket. So I thought, let me do a quick podcast about this. So I'm just going to kind of go through these. I kind of have some messy notes in front of me. So I'm hoping that I can stay going forward and not going back and forth and back and forth. But the first thing I want to talk about is a cashback program that I use religiously every time I shop online. And it's called Rakuten. I'm sure you've seen uh, commercials for it. There's a lot of times when I see commercials and it's just like, I don't even pay attention. It's like, what does that all entail? What is that? You know, am I paying for something? Is this a subscription? And Rakuten is not you need to sign up for this. And what I'm going to do in the show notes of this is I'm going to leave links to all these things that I'm talking about. So you easily can just head right over, head into the show notes, click on them, and it'll take you right to what you need to do. Um, And none of these are going to cost you any money. These are free things that I use or do all the time uh, that help us save a ton of money. So Rakuten is something that You can do it if you're shopping, you know, on your phone or I have it hooked up as a, I always get this tech is not my thing. It's like a bookmark on my computer. I think that's what you call it. But anytime I'm on any kind of, uh, you know, website that is in the Rakuten program and it has tons, uh, it'll pop up on my computer screen and it'll say, Rakuten will say, Hey, wait, I see that, uh, you can get this cheaper. You know, I'll have an item up. You can get this cheaper over here, which is amazing. Like it looks up, it finds those products, uh, and finds it for you cheaper. Uh, it will also, if there are coupons that they can, that they have found, they will apply coupons, but then they also pay you for going through your Rakuten link to like buy, you know, something on Target or, uh, One that we've used a lot like around the holidays is Nike.com. Anything like that, all you have to do is go through your Rakuten link or account. It's not going to cost you any money. It's just if you go through your account uh, and then go to your normal, you know, wherever you're going, Target, Nike, there's a ton of them on there. The one that I wish was on there was Amazon. It's not. But there are tons of retailers on there that you are buying at all the time. Uh, And then you just go through there. And then so basically what it is, is you will, if you're doing it on your phone, you'll go, I go to the Rakuten app and then I will type in some of the retailers will come up, but I'll type in, let's just say Target or Nike.com, or I'm trying to think of another shoe one that, uh, that we do a lot. I mean, literally any retailer that you're on, type it in. And then if they are in there, so let's just say Nike.com. So it'll come up. So I just click to Nike.com through that. And so now I'm on the normal Nike website. You're on the normal website, just like you would be any old day, you know, going to that website to to shop. And then when you check out, you're going to get a pushback. Rakuten does, and every retailer's different. Some is 1%. Some, like around the holidays, they go up to like 15%, 10%. But it's like an extra 
coupon, not really, but it's like I'm getting that extra coupon off my order. And then you can, you can, I get a check in the mail uh, just because I've never changed it, but you can do different things. Like I think you can go probably straight to your bank account. You could probably get it through PayPal. Um, Like there's different ways that you can cash it out, but I'm telling you, it adds up. And it's, I always think, I always think of it like, okay, so let's just make sure Rakuten, you know, if Rakuten has it, we're going to go through that because, you know, even if I've got a coupon code to use, that doesn't matter. You go through your Rakuten and you're still going to get paid for that purchase or you're going to get cash back for that purchase. Does that make sense? Download this app on your phone, put it on your computer because if you are, you know, your laptop, your desktop, if you are, you know, somebody that does online shopping at all, especially around the holidays, it's so amazing to have that pop up on your screen. It, it'll give you the coupons. It'll give you, wait, I know that this is cheaper somewhere else. And then, and then you're going to get cash back on your, on your purchase. Uh, I may in my, when, if you check the show notes, I may have like an extra discount for these things I'm sharing too. So I will definitely check that when I, uh, when I put them in the show notes. So definitely check out the links in the show notes. Cause you might get an extra, an extra discount or an extra like credit or something on some of these things I'm sharing today. Uh, I will definitely put those in there if I can find them. So definitely you need to go through Rakuten. One time I actually, it was so funny. I actually bought a, it was like a program or a system or something for my computer I needed. Rakuten popped up. Hey, wait a minute. We'll give you 20% back on your purchase. Maybe it was canva.com and I was up uh, getting like the bigger package or signing up for like a year thing. And they're like, wait, we're going to give you, I mean, it was something crazy, like 40%. And I'm like, <laughs> so then it was like, I, I, I just take that 40%. And it's like, oh my gosh, instead of paying whatever it was, this amount, I'm actually going to get 40% of that back. I mean, it, I was like, it's amazing. And when you, you do use your computer a lot, it's just nice that it just kit continues to pop up whenever you run across that. I wouldn't have known that. Uh, so it's not just, you know, if you're buying shoes and whatever, it's like those kinds of things too, which, which is amazing. So definitely get the app on your phone. Uh, so I always go through the app if I'm doing anything on my phone, shopping on, on my phone and then, you know, get that bookmark or that you know what I mean? It's it's not called bookmark. It's something else. And I can't think of it right now on your computer screen. So then it just pops up. Okay. The second thing, credit cards. And now I know this is like a double-edged sword. And if, if you're not good with credit cards, I tell you, don't, don't get them. <laughs> just don't get them. But if you are responsible with them, they can be a fantastic way to save money. Look for cards that offer you cash back on everyday purchases, like, you know, groceries, gas, or dining out. If you can put, I have friends uh, that put literally everything on their credit cards to get, you know, if hotel points that they, we don't really like to stay in hotels or don't really stay, not like, we haven't really stayed in a lot of hotels recently. We used to do it back in the day and we had a credit card uh, back in the day that we would stay for free because you would have, you know, points or whatever on them, but Think about what you want to, you know, would it be better for you to have cash back? Would it be better for you to get free hotel points? Maybe it's, uh, you know, it's airplane, airplane miles or like, just look for that credit card. That's going to give you money back on the money you're spending. And then just like any purchase, just like if you were using your, you know, bank card, if you go and make a purchase on your credit card, you know, write that out. I still, I still write in, I, my mom doesn't do it. She can't believe I I still do it. I am such an old fashioned person in a lot of ways, but I still keep the checkbook ledger. So I will, if I make a purchase with a credit card, I come home and I write it out as if it was, you know, just came right out of the bank account. So anytime we get a bill, it's already paid for. And I still, I don't do a lot of my bills online. I like to physically write out the check and like, I don't know what it is. It's just, me being a weirdo, but I just, I still like to do that. (laughs) But anyway, so, so check your, and it's amazing because it's like, you're buying things that you you normally need, you know, gas, groceries, school supplies, you know, whatever it is, but you're putting it on a credit card and then you're going to get money back or here, you know, hotel rooms or, you know, whatever hotel room points or whatever it is. Uh, So again, it's like, you're getting that extra coupon for things you're already buying or have to buy. Um, okay. So the next one, okay. This next one, I have to tell you, this is another one that adds up. 
It's called the Upside app. And you may have, I, I mean, I don't think there's commercials like on TV, but you may have heard, if you listen to podcasts, you may have heard of the Upside app. And again, sometimes I'm like, what does this mean? Like, do I, ha- is it hard to use? I don't want to use this. Uh, if I'm sharing it, I'm telling you, it's easy, easy, easy to use. Uh, so again, it's just an app on your phone and it gives you cash back on gas, groceries, and even like restaurants and things in your area or wherever you are. It, it'll find a restaurant, it'll find a gas station, it'll find uh, right where you're at. And it gives you money back on on what you're spending. So you earn money on your gas back. And like gas is one thing that uh, when this first came out, it was just for gas. And that was one thing, I mean, we all know gas prices have been crazy and it was like, how can I save more money on gas? Uh, And this came up and I'm like, okay, at least I'm saving something. It's so easy to use. Uh, They've even made it even easier. Like you don't have to do the whole, you used to have to take a photo of your receipt and all that, but it's even easier now. But you literally, you go into the app, it, it, you know, it wants to use your location so it can kind of tell you what's around you. Um, and then you click, okay, I'm going to go to this gas station. And then I think it gives you, I want to say, I don't know if it's like a three hour window or something like, okay, we're going to save that price for you. And so I always look for where has the cheaper price of gas. Uh, and then I'm getting the upside kickback as well. So it's like, I, I feel like I'm, double dipping in savings, if that makes sense. Uh, and then I, what I do with my upside app is I keep my, the money earned back and I keep it all the way until Christmas. And then every Christmas you can, again, you can, you know, cash it out like into PayPal. You can get gift cards. Uh, you can get, I think you could probably put it into your bank as well, but it's been the best thing at Christmas time because I've been able to get a lot of Christmas shopping done just through my Upside app with gift cards and things like that. So it does add up. And now they have restaurants and some grocery stores. So uh, definitely, again, I'll leave the link in the show notes. Definitely get this app. And I do think that if, I do think I'll be able to give you like your first one uh, is something. I can't, I don't want to state it now because it's it kind of changes, but just check the show notes and I'll give you the link to everything that you need. Okay, this next one, I want everybody to do this today as you are listening to this or after you're listening to this podcast or when you get home, you're going to call your utility companies, insurance providers, if you still have cable, if your internet provider, any of those, and you want to ask them if there are better rates, if they can give you a better deal. Sometimes if you've been a loyal customer for years and years, that helps. So mention that. Um, If you're considering switching to a competitor, you mention that. Uh, It's it's great. Every single time we've called and we just did it again with our insurance, we have saved money. So our bills have gone down. So just call them. If if they say no, that's fine. But uh, chances are you're going to save some money on your on your on your bills. Okay, another thing that we do religiously (laughs) is we sign up for apps and rewards programs. So any place that you frequent, restaurants, um, stores, get their apps, download their app. Um, Usually if you're downloading their app, you're like automatically into their reward program. And then every time you shop there, scan your app or however they have you do it. But that is how, you know, it's like your fifth one, you get free. Or now, you know, you've been a, you know, like Chick-fil-A is one we do. And they will randomly send me free meals or, you know, uh, a free ice cream cone. Or, you know, after so long, a Panera is another one. Uh, And you can see on there, it'll say, you know, three more visits to your next reward. And then, you know, there's coupons put on there. There's, you know, Chipotle is a big one with the kids. So, you know, after you have so many, then you get a free burrito or, you know, stuff like that. So, and it's funny because we've had family members come into town and they will, they don't have, you know, certain ones that we have. And so we use our, just our rewards thing, just like scan our rewards so we can get the credit for it. Um, and they add up fast. And I'm telling you any place like Bath and Body Works, if you go there, get their app and their rewards program because they put coupons and things in there and they sometimes will surprise you with things. Coffee shops, that's another one. 
they'll, they'll surprise you with a freebie or a great coupon or something, but you need to download an app for every place that you frequent, uh, because it's just, it, it, it's just going to save you money or send you a good coupon or something. Okay. The last one I'm going to talk about today is price matching. So Matt's really good about this one. Uh, so m most retailers, uh, online and in store, they offer price matching policies. So always before you're making a purchase. And like I said, Matt will sometimes we'll be somewhere and we're getting something and I'm like, okay, we'll just get it. And Matt's like, wait a minute, let me just check <laughs> and see if we can get this cheaper somewhere else. And so always price match just because again, it's just money. It, you're, nobody else is going to look out for you. Right. Why? So you just have to be. You just have to be proactive with some of these things. And literally all of these things that I'm telling you in this, in this episode, they're so easy to do. They are so, um, they're not hard to navigate. Uh, and they really do over time. They just add up. They make, they do make a big difference. So, um, again, I could talk about money saving stuff <laughs> for days and days, but I just wanted to share these things that, uh, we do religiously, uh, and it's, it's saved us a lot of money over the years. So if you like this po podcast, you think it was helpful, please share the podcast. We want to get this in front of people, as many people as we can. I always appreciate it when you share the podcast. Thank you. Thank you. As always, if you have a question or an episode or a topic or something you would like me to cover here on the podcast, reach out to me, uh, uh, through email, lindsay at mycreativedays.com or on Instagram at mycreativedays. Uh, and if you use some of these things, let me know, email me or reach out to me on Instagram. I would love to know. Or if you start using them, I would love to hear your experience. Uh, uh, I definitely love to hear from podcast listeners. It, you know, it's not like social media where you get to see instantly, you know, if people are seeing it or what they're doing with it or interacting with it. So um, please reach out to me. Uh, it's always, I love to get your feedback and I love to hear if these episodes are helping you. So please reach out. <laughs> so until next time, I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you very soon. Hello friends. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast. I am grateful that you tune in every week and that you share the show with your family and friends. I love having creative chit chats with you and my hope is that this podcast will inspire you to try a new project, start a DIY that you've been putting off, and decorate your home exactly how you want it. There are a few ways you can help us with the podcast. Follow the podcast so you don't miss an episode. And if you could take a few minutes to leave the podcast a review, that would help us so, so much. Again, thank you for being here and I look forward to our chat next week. Bye-bye.